as someone who does a lot of content and live streams ARPG type games, I can understand why when I create content and when I live stream, I get asked the question, is Last Epoch better than Diablo 4? Is Last Epoch better than Path of Exile? Yada, yada. I, I understand. I talk about these games, so I get why I get asked the questions. But where I kind of get a little bit annoyed is when it takes over a stream, it takes over the comments on a video, and it's obvious the intent of the person or people or group of people that are asking that line of question. It's clear there's a little bit of a defending going on. They're defending their game and they're trying to knock down Last Epoch with little tidbits of arguments. So again, people are in, entitled to their own comments and to their own takes and they're allowed to like whatever game they like. At the end of the day, playing video games is a personal choice and everyone has a right. But in this video, I, my opinion, in this video, I'm gonna talk about what I believe is the Diablo 4 killer. And that is this game behind me, Last Epoch, which I've been playing nonstop since 1.0 came out. To me, I'm gonna go there. There is no question, not even remotely a possibility of Diablo 4 being better than this game right now. And in this video, we're gonna go into that topic and I'm gonna do my best to try to explain why Last Epoch is gonna leave and is leaving Diablo 4 in the dust. I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Now for beginners, let's start with the price of the games. Diablo 4 is in the $70 price range where Last Epoch is in the $35 dollar price range and as we know path of exile is free to play so last epoch puts itself dead stark in the middle of these two giants so when it comes from a pricing perspective last epoch is half the price of diablo 4 and i would argue 10 times more the game as far as microtransactions well who wants to spend $70 for a mount in Diablo 4? I would argue the microtransactions in Last Epoch are in line with its pricing methodology. The microtransactions in Last Epoch align with the pricing strategy of the game. They're not outrageous. They're not ridiculous. I find them very well priced and positioned. So once again, when it comes to microtransactions, there's no money grabbing in the game. Whereas in Diablo 4, all you have to do is mention the $70 mount or $65 mount, whatever it was, which is more expensive than the current game being sold that was on sale recently. So from a microtransaction and pricing standpoint, Last Epoch is way more bang for your dollar. Let's get into the visual style of Diablo 4 and Last Epoch. Now, I have to say, when it comes to this topic, it really comes to preference. And I am not gonna sugarcoat this and I'll be true to these comments. I personally like the dark and gloomy and horror look of the Diablo franchise. Heck, Diablo 2 revolutionized the game palette. It was It's unbelievable what Diablo 2 Resurrected did when it came to the color, the darkness, the change in scenes through all the five acts. Just unbelievable. Now, Diablo 4 took that further and it really is dark. Everything is dangerous kind of environment. Not that I don't have a problem with that, and I actually think it looks sharp. Now, it can all blend in when you're playing an ARPG and everywhere you go looks the same, feels the same. So I can understand how some people might look at that and say, well, it's the same thing over and over, but it is a certain type of look, and I, I actually like it. So I'm not gonna knock Diablo 4 
for the look. I will, though, say it does get a little uh, repetitive. Go regardless of where you are in Sanctuary, it all looks the same. So I, I, I will agree with that. Now, when it comes to visual style for Last Epoch, this is where I think they are, again revolutionizing the industry and the and the ARPG space. It's about Last Epoch is about time travel. Last Epoch is kind of like high fantasy. They have dark areas. They have bright areas. It really they have advanced the the visual style of ARPGs. They're not cartoonish like Diablo 3 um, I, I just like the blend that last epoch from a visual style standpoint. I like seeing and feeling different when you're going through the story, when you're going through different areas and you're transitioning into different uh, areas and scenes. I like that last epoch has taken that approach where the color palette changes throughout the game. And, and I like that Um but I also do like how Diablo 4 has the dark and scary kind of tone. Um, so for this one, uh, I will slightly give the edge to Last Epoch just because there's more variety in the look, which breaks up the monotony when you're playing a video game. Whereas Diablo 4, it's the same thing over and over. Now, when it comes to skill trees and builds, well... There is no discussion, and actually Diablo 4 doesn't even deserve to be in this discussion. Hands down, Last Epoch blows Diablo 4 out of the water when it comes to the builds, the variety of builds, and the skill tree. There are 130 skills in Last Epoch across five classes, and each class has three masteries, and each class and mastery has skill trees each dedicated to that skill and mastery it's unlimited build variety in last epoch and i do not underestimate the word unlimited it is unlimited ever since i've been playing last epoch and streaming last epoch i am constantly being discussed and asked about what should I play? I have everything looks so good. I'm un, like every stream of mine. I have someone coming in and saying, I'm so confused. Everything looks so good. I don't know what to play. I want to play them all, but I, I got to pick one. Like that is just a testament to the game, Last Epoch. And just the skill tree and builds in this game are phenomenal. Phenomenal. They have, again, advanced the skill and build topic when it comes to ARPGs. When it comes to Diablo 4, they're not even in the conversation. Like, I will bring it up just because I'm comparing this game to it, but Diablo 4 is so narrow in comparison when it comes to the build variety, the class balancing, the skills and the customization. It is so limiting. I've referred to it in the past that when it comes to skill tree and builds in Diablo 4, it's like being in a 10 by 10 room, and that's your freedom in your build variety. Whereas in Last Epoch, you're literally in an, op an endless open field where there is no limit to how far you can go with builds and skills. It is unbelievable how amazing last epoch has taken this part of the game and really made it fun to enjoy it they really 11th hour games has really done a really good job with the classes the build variety and the skill trees and the other beautiful thing about last epoch when it comes to the skill trees it's not as super complicated as path of exile where you basically need a phd and you have to sink a million hours into the game if you want to be anywhere near close to understanding all the little things that go with the skill tree and how things link and the and all that kind of stuff. Whereas Last Epoch, 
is very the the point of entry the access to learning and being good at this game when it comes to skill trees is the learning curve is not as steep i guess is what i'm trying to say so again last epoch knocks it out of the water now itemization which does not exist in diablo 4 and does exist in last epoch so again last epoch blows diablo 4 out of the water when it comes to itemization now in last epoch there are six item rarities in the game so there's white which is common there's blue which is magic there's orange which is unique there's green which are sets there's purple which are exalted and there's red which are legendary and all these sets gears weapons in last epoch all have implicit stats okay and the affixes that come with this gear that come with the weapons in last epoch they all matter and you are chasing that one piece of armor that one weapon and the crafting in this game which helps again you customize how you want to play the itemization in last epoch is phenomenal and again it's in the game now it's not being talked about and like in diablo 4 oh it's coming in season 4 and then you know this is what we're gonna do like it's all talk no the, the things that i'm talking about when it comes to last epoch are in the game today if you were to log into last epoch what i'm talking about you can experience it's not being talked about or planned out it's in the game already itemization hands down last epoch by a million miles kills diablo 4 not even close now the end game what are the end game in both games diablo 4's end game is basically nightmare dungeons they've now added five new <laughs> five bosses which you can farm for gear um and basically though it's nightmare dungeons and you can target farm these uber bosses for uber uniques in essence i would say that's basically the end game now they are adding leaderboards if you want to add that to the end game so be it but we have still we have no idea when leaderboards are coming. They're having a campfire chat on February 29th. They're going to talk about that, and they're going to talk about itemization in Season 4. But really, w they have to do something because Last Epoch is killing them and literally killing their game uh, just because of how popular the game is with everybody. It's just crazy. And just to give you an idea... Last Epoch, concurrent 24-hour player peak on SteamDB is 264,708. That was over the weekend. So we'll round up. 265,000 players were on Last Epoch playing. That's the highest 24-hour player peak that SteamDB recognized now the game is still being review bombed and it is still showing a positive review and the overall review is now at 69 percent and clearly people are review bombing this game because of the server issues which again i've been able to play every evening with no issue online and as you can see here i have a level 57 a level 13 12 like you can see all the characters that i have here these are all online characters that i've played without any issue don't get me wrong the first sorry let me take that back the first two days i would get the occasional uh le61 error and low times transitioning scenes sometimes i had to wait one or two minutes but the last couple of streams of mine I've had literally n no issues. Um, but people are coming in droves and playing Last Epoch, and there's a reason why they are, because this game is good, and they're seeing people playing it, and they like what they're seeing, 
So they're coming to this game. Um, just unbelievable what's going on. Now, like I said, the end game in Diablo 4 is basically Nightmare Dungeons. You can target farm bosses. Leaderboards are going to come. So that's going to give something, I guess. Uh, outside of that, I really can't think of anything else. It's been a while since I played Diablo 4, so I'm just trying to think. I think that's just about it. I don't know if you want to put Helltides in there. Uh, I don't know if that's endgame. That's more of just the game in general. Um, anyway, uh, that's what Diablo 4. Now, last epoch, their endgame is multifaceted. So there are dungeons, and there's three of them. And all of them have different mechanics and different rewards. There's an arena type mode. And this is where you can compete to see where you fit on the leaderboards. This is the leaderboard part of Last Epoch. That's where you go in the arena, where you can fight endless mobs and see how you score. But anyway, there are different arenas. And then probably the main source of endgame in last epoch is the monolith of fate and that's probably the main endgame activity where you go into the monolith system and you can again customize the monoliths that you're running you can target certain ones if you're looking for gear if you're looking for um, weapons etc etc so it provides some end game when it comes to that and then also what they've added to 1.0 are factions which is new to 1.0 obviously and that is the trading system in last epoch where you can choose between two factions you can choose one where you are buying and selling in the market so you want to buy and sell gear weapons or you can pick the other faction where, let's say you're a solo self-find kind of player and you want to earn the gear and the weapons that you wear. This faction will give you, uh, as you rank up in the faction, you will increase the amount of drops, the quality of drops, etc. So these this faction system is another way of adding to the end game variety where dependent on what faction you join and as you rank up you get certain perks that come with the faction and that's a very simplistic way of the you know outlining the faction system it's a lot more um intuitive and complicated but it is revolutionary what they're doing with the faction system everybody's talking about it about how good it is so I went over, I don't know, five or six topics that I think are important for any ARPG to have for it to be worth someone's time to play it. And in my opinion, clearly, Last Epoch is far and above better than Diablo 4 in its current state. Okay? We are, comp I'm comparing facts, not D4 wants to do this, wants to do that. That's hearsay, that's speculation, that's this. I'm, I'm comparing the two games as they are. Remember, Diablo 4 came out many, many, many months before last epoch. And I'm not even going to get into Diablo 4 has unbelievable history in the Diablo franchise and has all those years of design and choice to help it design its current Diablo game. Now I understand every Diablo game almost literally has different developers and different people that are leading that game. I understand the Diablo 2 team wasn't the Diablo 3 team, isn't the Diablo 4 team. I get it, but the company's the company. Um, but and Last Epoch has been in development, what, five years? And 1.0 is the first re full release 
its first full release. Prior to 1.0, it was in early access still, okay? Um, but what's in the game today, Last Epoch, Diablo 4, it's not even a conversation. It's not a conversation. Last Epoch is doing evolution. They're advancing. They're being creative. They're there are no advancements. There's no creativity to Diablo 4. Diablo 4 is a rinse and repeat. It's that simple. Rinse and repeat. You have to, whether it's in video games or whether it's in your personal life, you either grow or you rot. And Diablo 4 is rotting because they refuse to innovate. They're not innovating. It's rinse and repeating. This is why 11th Hour Games and Last Epoch are reaping the rewards in this space is because Diablo 4 and the higher ups have sat back and said, we're not gonna innovate. We're just gonna same old, same old. So a lack of innovation is killed and is killing Diablo 4. Point blank, end the conversation right there. You can't, do not pass go, do not collect 200. Zero innovation created this disaster from Diablo 4, Diablo 4. Zero innovation. I'm going to keep saying it. If you don't innovate, you're dead in this space, as far as I'm concerned. And 11th Hour Games is innovating and are reaping the rewards. They sold a million copies. Over the weekend, they had 265,000 players at one time in that game. Why? Innovation. And I spoke to all the innovating items that are in this game today. Not being talked about, not here's what we're going to do six months from now, three seasons from now. It's in the game today. Sorry, I keep repeating it because I want to make it clear. Innovation has made Last Epoch and the success it's seeing today. Lack of innovation has killed Diablo 4 and is why the other day I went on to Twitch to see how many people were watching. And I know this is not an indication, but we don't have much to go on when it comes to Diablo 4 because Blizzard doesn't share the numbers with us. But... I went on to Twitch and you know how many people were on the Diablo 4 channel? 647. That's how many people were watching Diablo 4. So the lack of innovation in Diablo 4 is slowly killing this game. And I would say it's dead unless they start innovating. When they start innovating again, now we have a different conversation, and now I can compare Diablo 4 to the games like Last Epoch, which continue to innovate and are innovating. So when I get asked the question, is Last Epoch better than Diablo 4? I kind of laugh because there's no comparison. There is no comparison. One company is innovating and setting standards while the other company is making excuses, not innovating, and thinking up how to spin and market their game and trying to put a carrot in front of you to kind of trick you to play the game. I don't know. At the end of the day, guys, it's your money. It's your time. You can choose to play whatever you want. But I'm going to be honest and truthful and give you an honest critique on the game and the fun factor. Everybody's having fun in Last Epoch. You uh, bring to me players that are having fun in Diablo 4. There aren't any. Sorry. Okay, maybe that might be a little... I'll retract that statement. I'm sure there's people having fun with Diablo 4. Again, everybody has different requirements when it comes to playing. But my point is, you don't innovate. You deserve... You reap what you sow. This is technology, right? This is gaming. For God's sakes, we we're putting people on the moon. We have AI that's doing all this kind of stuff. 
and you're not innovating in the video game space, well then you reap what you sow, man. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I, I'm, I got to be honest, I'm getting tired of being asked this question. And what's the most annoying is I'm enjoying playing Last Epoch and we're talking about it. And then someone will come in and just kill the conversation and go into which game is better, which game is better. Like, it's clear which game is better. It's clear. You know which game is better? It's the game everyone's playing that's better. Just go on social media, go on the streaming services. That'll tell you which game is better. <laughs> all right. Anyway, let me know what you think. I um, know all the fanboys are going to come loud and clear on this one. I can just see it. But anyway, I'm... Uh, you want to also know why I'm doing this video is because, again, this may not be how people interpret it, but I do want to see Diablo 4 get better. I do, but they are a million years away from that. If they continue with the same methodology and the same mindset, this game is dead in season four. No, like if they continue with the same ideology of not innovating, Dead, dead, dead. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.